11.1 homework number two video number one in this video I'm going to show you how to recognize opposite factors and what to do with them when you see opposite factors so the numerator and the denominator of this expression x minus 3 over 3 minus x are opposites and the reason they're opposites is because in the numerator x is positive but in the denominator x is negative same thing for the 3. In the numerator, x, I'm sorry, 3 is negative, and in the denominator, 3 is positive. So these are opposites. So to simplify the expression, what we're going to do is factor out negative 1 from the 3 minus x expression. So when we do that, we're actually dividing both, the, both terms by negative 1. So now we get negative 1, parentheses, negative 3 plus x, which now we can actually rewrite it so that these are switched around as negative 1, parentheses, x minus 3. So that when we now simplify this expression, it's rewritten like this, x minus 3 over negative 1, parentheses, x minus 3. So now we can... Um, cancel. Cancel out the x minus 3 on top and the x minus 3 on bottom. Now remember when I'm canceling those are actually becoming 1's. So now I have 1 over negative 1 times 1 which is 1 over negative 1 which reduces to negative 1. So in other words when you can recognize factors, I mean opposite factors, they are actually going to reduce to negative 1. So I'm going to show you how to first recognize whether they're opposites or not. So number one, determine whether two given binomials are, are or are not opposites. So notice that 7y is positive, 7y is positive. 15 is positive, 15 is po uh, positive. These are not opposites. They both have to be different signs from each other. In this one, a is positive over here, a is negative over here. Over here, 13 is negative. Over here, 13 is positive. So this is yes. So you need to be able to recognize what opposite factors look like. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to um, simplify a, a polynomial, a rational expression, when you have opposite factors.